real windy today. I had to check it out. I, I hear tell of a 2001 Z3 BMW in this barn. We're going to check it out. So it's windy, and now I'm going to I'm going to hurry and get this plywood down. The Z3, not an M, got the good wheels. I like the black, We've got a couple of dings in it here and there. The wheels are good. I like that style. Top's in rough shape. So there's three or four hundred bucks right there. Then hopefully you can change the dang thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. If the battery's dead, owner says it's got 148,000, I've got that charged battery. Manual shift. So it's hard to find a Z3 manual shift. And this body style, which is what James Bond used for one of his movies. This is the cooler style. Uh, Started to skip when he put it away. So he's pretty sure it's nothing serious. It's a uh, coil pack. $7,000. We'll take it. I always get a little scared working on these new vehicles. <laughs> 2001. So it's not too bad, though. This little clip just pops up. And you pull each wire off. And I guess these coil, there's one right there. And I get the plugs way down in there when I dig them out. But I found that, like, I looked each, none of these really match. Uh, two of them are from BMW, and three of them are the, let's see, three of these white ones. Then there's like a squarish looking black one. So it looks like they replaced them as needed. Seems like a shame, but my nephew found a uh, deal where I'm waiting for them whole set of six plugs and um, coils. I think they're Bosch, you said. And I guess they're like 300 bucks, maybe, three, four. So waiting on those. Yeah, because I don't want to, I guess you could go take it, have tested, and they'll tell you exactly which coils is skipping. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, this car wasn't babied, though. It's been through five owners. Car fact shows in 02, a rear left quarter panel was replaced. Now it looks like somebody did do a brand new, uh, do a new brake brakes on it, and new tires, uh, new uh, radiator, but what a skanky, they broke the clips <laughs> doing it, it's wired up, uh, so it was a, it went to Goober and Gomer station, I could tell that, the one lower hose is almost barely on after they replaced the, re the radiator, so no, it's not, a, it's no creep up, then it, looks like, then it went to auction, finally ended up going to auction, seven grams, probably about the right money, but I remember years ago uh, seeing one of these. I was like, oh man, that's cool. And I know BMW, because I have some E30s <laughs> and a 36. And uh, you know, someday I'm going to get one of them. <laughs> and gee, when these are brand new, they were, I, I read, I think they were kind of pricey. It was like 40 grand for a little two seater. That's, uh, so I don't know how many, there couldn't have been that many of them made. And there, or buyers that, you know, had the extra coin just for a little fun but it could have got a miata <laughs> i think they oh i want to get it. i think they, this is a 3.0 they had 2.8 and a 2.5 i think their first ones were uh, even, uh what four cylinders uh, a lot of guys bad mouth the force you know a little four cylinder believe me you'll, you'll have fun in this car with a little four banger <laughs> even though maybe they don't say they the values of those will go up but yes, the old three is the most, uh, this one here will get up and get. 
I have to be careful when I take this one out. These are a pretty good proven engine. Uh, so far it's not so bad, uh, but uh, if one coil goes bad, you might as well replace them all because what are you going to do in a couple of weeks or a month or out on a Sunday afternoon and another one goes. <laughs> so I, I really hate wasting some. I'll probably save those, <laughs> put them somewhere. Uh, the only other thing I don't like about this is, yeah, that's pretty cool at all. Not bad to get to. But my little spark plug grabber doesn't seem to want to grab those. I got one to come out. You got a hold of. So I get. I either got to get a different type of uh, socket, or uh, I do have uh, my toolbox with those finger things to pull them out of. I tell you, it was no walk in the park trying to get the, get a hold of these. I got one out. Another one. So yes, I'm going to have to invest in. Uh, whatever type of socket they use to grab these things. <coughs> Mine's a spark plug socket, but I think the rubber inside is really old and hard. Yeah, but it's still wise to just replace all, all of them, because <laughs> I know my luck. I'll get, I'll, I'll have some hot 50 year old and, uh, and then uh, take her to, for a fish fry and the car will crap out. You know, I got three of these 5 8 spark plug uh, sockets, six point, and none of them will grab that spark plug. So uh, that's done. The little, the little three-fingered grabber thing helped a little bit. Got another plug out. But then I found this. Yahoo! A spark plug, uh, excuse me. Yeah, it's a, it's a spark plug retractor. As you see here, there's all my new coils. Take a little look. I don't really may say Bavaria Autosport. Yeah, Bavaria, it sounds BMW. Of course, a little closer examination of the box. What does it say here? Oh, it made in China. I'm not going to really throw the old ones out because one of the, <laughs> I think it's uh, one of these and not the, the plugs that are in it. But uh, if we're out on a trip, I might go to Stowe, Vermont. There's a big car show every year up there. So if you have a couple, have one of these extra in your trunk uh, Sunday, if one of these goes bad, even though these are brand new, if one goes bad, they're down there years from now. Uh, you just swap it out quick. You won't be able to find those in an auto parts, I don't think. So let's just take a quick look at these. I wonder which one of the six is bad. This one here says BMW. There's two of them are from BMW, and they do got a pretty dirty. Tell by the yellow plastic, how the plastic's gotten yellowed. I think that's what was kind of clear at one time. They're pretty grungy. It says two and five. I'll bet those are original. That still doesn't mean that they're one's bad. Then I got these here with the car they are called. I'll call them, uh, they are called B R E M I. Bremi. There's three of those. This plastic is really discolored the worst. I'm going to say that's the oldest one. This one's a little, a little whiter. <laughs> and I would say this one here is, hmm, whitest. And then this one here, a little different mom, isn't marked at all. And this looks fresh. I mean, it looks really clean. There's no oil or deposits, or this looks like it's pretty new. So I'm not gonna throw them out. And I don't know yet if you can get those uh, tested uh, outside in the vehicle. But here's what I'm doing: I'm bag each one of these up, put it back in the box. And what I got here? I wrote 2001 BMW Z3 coil. Good, maybe. <laughs> And what do we got here? A little spooge I send to, let's see, spark plug boots are clean, blah, blah, blah. Apply the inside of each spark plug boot. Uh, that's a good idea. Spark plug boot protector. I mean, they, I had one that came out pretty hard. Let's see if that Z3 will run without skipping now. All right, here we go. We're going to fire up the Z3. Put my coils and uh, spark plugs in. She is. Need a little cleaning up. Got a new top order for it. Got her license. And as I say, this car was no cream puff. 
but it's hard to find, I'll say, a relatively low numbered car and one that's uh, 3.0 and the Z3s, I think they're cooler body style. And I could have got a Z4 for a, little, a lot better condition and uh, for a couple grand more, but I didn't like, this is the one. And black, and these are the right wheels. And they're a little rough. I've already cleaned them up. 